Oh, last theory. Oh, if yeah, I was, now you're okay. the expert. Let's let's Actually, your if I was looking at this game, let's, let's, let's see. Oh, I would I would say uh, yeah, I'd say I'd, I feel Maneski's got it here. You do. I feel I do the bruise, the Medusa. I mean, you were kind of selling me on the Medusa during the draft, saying you know it's a Medusa, sure. PL, yeah, you get defusal on that, but don't let me into the illusions you. die. Come on, man. No, no, I, I, I think Maneski, they got a good draft, but. Uh, uh, TNC, they've had some, they've had some strong games yesterday. They did have some, some sort of questionable games, some sort of weird plays. Uh, so they, they are going to have to pull it together. But I'm looking forward to seeing what 1437 and the boys can do. Yeah, I mean we got teams under our spirit, right? Yeah, teams under spirit. So I think the drafts are pretty close. I think, I think just the one thing that has to happen for yeah. Mineski is they can't. If they fall behind in the laning phase, I think they'll get. They can remaining. just really fall behind super hard throughout the mid game because sure. they have an undying on their team. I mean, they can play the farm game though with the Medusa, couldn't they? Like there is recovery options if they do get behind. Sure, they do have those type of recoveries, but they're. Them, I mean, they have Avenge and they have yeah, undying. Sure. These two sure. heroes, if they fall behind in the early game, they don't really have those great recovery things. They need to go through fights, and fighting into TNC's lineup is a bit scary because they have a bit more team fight in regards to that. So we'll see how plays out after the landing phase. I think like Charlie said, we will probably have musical lanes coming out. They want to get the matchup of the uh, Broodmother versus the Razor coming out from the nasty bottom. Fight coming out, Tim's. We should still wave a tower. Come away. Not one on top of the stun at the start. Lots lots of decay de steal though. So uh, of soul, soul strength. Who's gonna be wanting to dodge you? Who are you saying with these these lanes? I don't think they want to have the Razor versus the Brood one. I think that like, Charlie was saying the Batrider versus the Brood works, but Razor as well now is a lot easier because you're not invisible as Brood anymore. So you get that link. It's pretty nice. I think that either way, though, Brood Mother's going to farm. I don't think you can prevent that from my side. So. So all the action at the moment. We're going to be down on this bottom lane, especially with this smoke up from 1437 and Tim's. I think the, my biggest concern for TNC would really be the, uh, the Phantom Lancer. Because, you know, they picked the PL into the Dusa because he's the Fusa Blade, as you were mentioning. But uh, I, think if, I think if PL starts to fall too far behind, he can be, he can be very troubling to play versus Medusa. But if they can get ahead of the early game and then they can have this Phantom Lancer go toward the late game, it can work pretty nicely as well. Bottom lane. This pressure from the tri lane. Yep. Ninja Boogie. Three stacks. One more hit. One more touch would have done it, but he Ooh. can't quite get it. That was close. Disruptor kept alive. Seeing the pressure that TNC can put on in that bottom lane. Look at top Raven getting full links pretty much every single time. <laughs> Until the spider spiders start building up, that is a Razor favored matchup. A couple levels on ice, and he's going to be doing just fine in mid lane. Big disparity. Nana, 9 and 2 for the 4 0 of Kuku. And in the 1v1 situation, this is not going to get any easier for the PR. You know, Kuku needs, needs to have rotations to come in if he wants to sort of overrule the Medusa in this 1v1. Yeah, I haven't been seeing PL actually have too many good games. Yeah, at least for us in Dream League. He's been struggling quite a bit. Just invisibility. Ordered. Death tax. So yes. Safe laners. Avenge was 7 for 3, 5 for 0 on the Razor, so it looks like the sort of ice, ice, ice actually uh, coming out on top of this lane, even though those long duration static links have been there for Raven. He got the creeps behind the tower. He yeah. pulled the, the wave and got a couple denies, and that's why Raven is actually behind at the moment. And that's really good for the Broodmother, because once you get those spiders built up, there's no way the Broodmother, can, or there's no way that Razor can deal with this. Mid lane Moon's got to be careful. There's three heroes looking for a, for a play upon him. And... Right, I'll put Lim down here with the Spirit Lance. Lim dodged the uh, snake there, the doppel. That was a really nice, nice play. That move will be okay for now. Still, as we can see, most supports looking in on him on the mid left. Oh, that snake did not bounce the range creep there for Moon. So it's actually a really big deal to pay attention to that when you're looking at these type of Medusa matchups. If you get a couple like, unfortunate bounces, you can actually get punished by rotations. And you see 1437, he's positioned around the mid lane. They really want to punish this because. They need these lanes to go better. Mineski in a very good spot at the moment because you know they're playing with an undying lane. They're playing with an undying in their uh, in their game. They need to be out ahead in the laning phase. Very good start for them. TNC. Got to start making some nice. Got to start making some moves. Just losing all three lanes at the moment. Down from moon. He's worried about these movements. And, uh, he's right to be worried. They come in from the other uh, 
for side there, not where he can. Looks like it matters though still as he is able to get back behind the tower. He's secured. Like this this mid matchup is already secured now though. The Medusa is so low on mana, can even spam the snake out onto PL. Cuckoo farming just fine now at the moment. Razor as well. Going for the plasma field levels, so he can actually clear some spiders. For now. Once they start building up more though. They are pretty tanky. Do magic damage. And he will build a farm jungle with them at all times. And the shocker can't really do a whole lot to help out a Razor. Good job. Chase down here. Go straight for the TP out. Managed to be take the the bat's bounty in as well as his own. Feel that undying mid lane yeah. again. Another attempt in onto the producer for the backup is there from Jabs. Oh, Jabs has the dream. That's an arcane rune and an undying. He's just gonna sit here for a while and guarantee that Moon catches back up. Because Moon is probably like, I need to get a couple Mystic Snake to get my mana back, and he has. He's starting to recover a bit. He's fairly even in that mid matchup though. And Racer to the top. Now finally starting to get bullied. Those levels are coming on the brood. They need to make lane adjustments. In comes the bat indeed. Sam H. Twitching lanes. So he can try himself to put some pressure on the brood. Have that safety of the fire. It's awkward though already now for TNC. They don't really have... They don't have like great positions in these... Uh, in this and top lane. Ice actually getting sticky stacked up. Has to be able to get the range of why he does. Um, yeah, they have to start like moving these lanes around, so it is yep. awkward because they're starting to waste. They're wasting some gold, and they have to make these adjustments. So now Razor is making his way toward bottom to try to contest versus this. Is that? Is that, is that right? Okay, so Razor is queued up a soul ring. I think maybe he'll change okay. that. I think maybe he did that because he was versus the brood. Yeah, maybe because he will, but he just wanted to have Yeah, yeah. And damage just keeps getting. And forced out of top lane too, so this is definitely now. Oh, the crowd's coming out as well. They've got to try and get Mushi out of there. The Maledict bringing him down low. Fair with a magic missile. Look back towards 1437. The team has been dropped. He's trying Mushi? for the kill. Mushi he doesn't get it. He had 17 wand charges. What the? Did he? Yeah, Mushi has literally 17 charges that he didn't use. Oh, he could have lived for that kill then. The heck? And that would have been a first blood as well if he yeah. had lived. It would have been first blood. He that would have been first blood. He sat on agic treads the whole time too. I mean, the maledict was no, there. It was, yeah, there's never one maledict. If he popped the one. Yeah, I think he would have been just fine. Like if he went mad, uh, if he magic stick and switched to strength treads, he just sat on agic treads and tanked all that damage. He gets hit by a max range plasma field as well. That was definitely a mistake coming out from Mushi there. Mm. And they cost. They cost yeah. them. He misses out they first blood. blood. Yeah. Lost the carry's life. Mistakes are things you can't do, especially versus a team like PNC. Mid lane, Cuckoo pulling further and further ahead of this Medusa. Pretty damn impressive for him. Glimpse back. Tim's took the ball to smash. Badgie missile is there from Muji. Uh, Tim's rolls out, TP's out. He's out of there. Wow. Can't quite catch him. TNC getting some clutch plays coming out here. Top though. Daryl, I guess I still doing incredibly well versus this brute. Let me check. Oh, here. Just get the kill here. Ice, yeah. ice, ice. <laughs> yeah, this is spooky. The new spiderlings have so much Dyer's magic resistance. They have less health overall, but versus a bat rider, you don't really burn down those spiders whatsoever here. Now the tower. Seven minutes down. down. It's a good, Dyer's good start for the ice, ice, ice brood. So like you said, that brood can really start to take over, and it's beginning to happen. He's gonna have so much openings because now when you take that top tower as a brood, you have access points to the whole enemy yeah. jungle. I mean, who who do you sort of send on a spider killing mission? Like, who can who can go out there and deal with this brood at this stage of the game? It's it's hard with the lineup the TNC have. None of their heroes actually yeah. can kill those. They, they have to have like multiple sticky stacks for him to try to do that. Plasma field's not gonna do it. Sam H getting surrounded again up top. Spiders bring him low. It's gonna be another attempt here on Mushi's life. This Maldic. time he uses them. Okay, he uses one. And that'll save him. Yeah. Maldic will not be enough. He charges pop. But you say top lane, Sam. He's still trying to play around with this Ice 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 Brood. But uh, he's not having much success with it. And now Ice Ice Ice. He's taking his tears. They've got to send more heroes up in there. Will Tims is on the way. Ice 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 just sneaks back out. And he can go jungle. Playing with them on top of 
Eastern spiders in one by one. Lame. Lifting up the moon, staying down water. I put the field down onto the razor. Trying to move in. Jabs. The undying. They've got the glimpse back onto Raven. And with that, Raven should go down. Mushu able to take the kill. A carry for the carry. Nice close for Boogie. Wow. Okay, Goldie, three to one. The strong lanes definitely aiming to, to be very strong for I Minesky. Mean, I think there's a 61 CS on the spider nine minutes in. Yeah. And as we're end. saying, very little answers in, in ways that TNC can deal with the spiders had this sort of beginning. I like how they are up. They are trying to make sure that the Medusa shut down. And look at Cuckoo diving onto the Zeus in the mid lane. Nearly gets it as well. Got another Lance. The Moon does have some stick charges. Heal him up. And also, we saw them uh, block Ancient, which is something that we've been talking about a lot. Very important versus the Medusa. It does get dewarded almost instantly, but the fact that they're even thinking about that it is a nice approach by TNT. I think you have to, don't you? Yeah. You really do. Any sort of Ancient farming here nowadays, it's just such an easy way to get an advantage if you allow them to to take their ancients and keep control of them. They definitely have a spider problem, though. Oh, yeah. I spy, spy. He's going to be taking a tier 2 already. Ten minutes in, that top lane just disappearing Dyer's before TNC's eyes. Even well at the moment. Moon, mid. Getting dove up again. By Back up, then mid. Silver's out. It's not going to be as soon enough. Nope. Moon's down. Should be overwhelmed by the PL in these early stages of the game, the Medusa. Bottom now, Mushi as well, getting go. Raven needs 1437. With the Maledict on him, and he is going to go down. Tims comes in with a boulder splash, wrap around, Radiant Mushi trying to turn, but the silence is there for Tims. Mushi's down. They clean up the bottom lane as they also take the life of Ninja Boogie. TNC turning up the pressure, putting some damage onto the team, and fortifications there, of course, for Maneski. So, I mean, they are getting stuff down here as a three. They're getting good kills onto Mushi. And uh, the kill on the two still remains as well, but. I'm just, the ice, ice, ice can do so much this game with this brew mother. Yeah, they, as we were saying, they have massive brew problems. He's yeah. gone for the Vlad and Medallion build, so he can start doing those ancients. He's gonna have Solar Crest too. Oh, and they can do Roche really nicely. But with yeah. him, the Vengeful Spirit and the build that he's got, as you say, once the Solar Crest is done, Roshan is definitely going to be a target for Minesky. And, I mean, TNC, they, they've got decent de team fight, but. When the stone gaze is there, it could become an issue for TNC trying to get into the pit and contesting us. Moon only has, or, yeah, the Medusa only has 40 CS at 11 minutes. It's struggling. It's actually uh, not the best time in everything. 55. Oh, this is big. If they can get away with it, they've got the last note. Silence as well, and the spider is down. Massive kill for TNC. Now they're going to look to try and turn it into more. The static storm down from Ninja Boogie. Trying to hold back the side. Mushi finds the magic missile, but he's been surrounded. Mushi, he's going to go down as well as Alistair nice Stark. They also pick up Ninja Boogie on the back lines as Tim's gets the kill. TNC. Uh oh. They're doing exactly what they need to. If they can kill that spider, it opens the, the game up and makes things so much easier. Mushi at this stage is not in a scary place. He has proved to be quite an easy pickoff time and time again for TNC. Game this is exactly what you were just saying too, is that TNC has this much stronger team fight. So if they do get a head-on engagement, especially away from the Undying, there's no way that Mineski can take it. And Undying's actually gone for a bit of a different kind of build. Jabs has killed the Flesh Golem, so he's got a 2-2-1 two, two, build, not even, a, even, not even two points in the uh, Tombstone. So it is much weaker in that aspect. They have to play around him if they want to go for those type of plays. Or just, either that, or just let Daryl do his own, do his own kind of aspect in the game. Have him be top alone, and they have to four man and play around that. At the moment now, Cuckoo is starting to get pretty massive, almost with the Fusal Blade finished up on that Phantom Lancer. It's a big concern, as the panel mentioned, Lumi was saying, there's not really good solutions for Phantom Lancer and Vision, only really the Dusa. Yeah, and the thing about the juice is it's all about who gets the, the head start in the game. Because juice is ahead. Very easy for her to play out the illusions if she has those points of split. But as you say, this stage of the game, as soon as the fusal comes out, there's going to be a very, very scary period for, for the Medusa where she will struggle in, in, insanely against these, uh, these mana burn. Mana burn illusions appear. Yeah, I think uh, Mineski needs to just have defensive wards up. They need to let this Medusa farm the ancients it's either let do some farm ancients or run as a four-man unit and let room other farm ancients it's one or the other you can't just have uh, 
You can't have everybody together and just let TNT take the game. Running at you. They get the trouble. The kinetic on the static storm. Down is caught out and down. This is a good approach, fighting around the two sons up, but they're getting pinched now, TNT, the rest of them are coming. Disrupt their ulti. He's trying to come in from the back, he's looking towards Kim, he will take down the Astro, but they've lost into Boogie on the disrupt, he gets the kinetic field off before he dies. But look at this Death Ward go to work as it pummels through Ice Ice Dice his brood. 1437, getting the damage in there with the ultimate to take down the spooky spider. Again, see again, he's sort of team fight situations just seems to be a little too much for, for Manesti's lineup Radiant to handle at this stage. Yeah, it, as soon as Disruptor ulti is expended, as soon as Tombstone's dropped, the fight's the fight for Maneski just can't continue. And TNC with a really nice wraparound though. That was not expected from Maneski. They went all the way through the enemy jungle and wrapped around a mid or bottom I mean moon gets spotted. And this is an easy kill yeah. for TNC. Raven joins in for the fun. So that space, Mineski was just trying to make space for this Deuce to farm up, and he gets caught out and dies too, so all their efforts are for naught. They've got to slow this game down some now, Mineski. And with the, with the Deuce that they can recover their strength, the farming potential. But it's going to be hard with TNC playing as aggressive as they are. Yeah. With the Diffuse of finish on Fiona, even, oh, I mean, 1437 has a Glimmer Cape at 15 minutes on a Witch Doctor as the, uh, I guess you could say, the hard five which here. So he's farming very well. And that can make a big aspect into these uh, upcoming team fights. They're gonna have save at all times from that, and he already has max level cask with high level maledict for the fight. And here we go, they're not slowing down whatsoever. Gonna take fights on top. There we go, good, good. Kicking things off on Jazz, Jazz goes, throws down the Phoenix, so Static Storm is not going to catch anyone until the PL's already out of there. Ice Ice being forced back up to the high ground. He'll turn, try man fight against Sam H. Bring the bat down low, not quite low enough for the kill. Sam H continuing to kite up. Ice 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 with the spider has to run. And Steve Moore being chased down more to flies off to Mushi. Raven coming in with the wraparound. Mushi with the swap to tank this swimming Ninja Boogie. And Ninja Boogie has no option, he has to. So Ninja Boogie will go down. Mushi's still alive for now. He's going for the kick. Tim, just off the mark for Raven. He will be able to clean up the kill as he comes in with the plasma field. And again, 13 to 6. They're looking for, they're looking for Daryl too. Oh, they're going to find him. Ice, Ice, Ice came back in for the Wish Doctor kill. They cost him his life. It's getting massively out of hand for Mineski. Yeah, this is starting to get out of control, honestly. They have an undying in their lineup, and it's 16 minutes when they're behind. Bottom tower it's, yeah, it's looking really, situation. really, really unfortunate here for Mineski at this point here with the Deuce on their lap and their draft. They don't have any way to take out, take these engagements. They can't, they can't fight versus the pace that TNC is keeping up. And I think TNC is going to just continue this. They're not going to slow down whatsoever. So we, the uh, Lumi was talking about how, how the Eternal Envy Razor went for these cheap small items. Raven did the exact same build. Maze, drum, hood. He's just looking to get involved and run at this Mineski lineup with this Razor. keep just trying to run into this. They have to split the map up with the Broodmother and try to take more advantageous team fights without numbering. Splitting the map over the Brood is hard now because of uh, it's just the fact that TNC's here is the well level. They're well kitted out for this stage. You know, it just yep. sends a couple of them. You get one sort of lockdown and uh, you'll almost certainly have the damage to take down. Ice, ice, ice. I think they have to start doing that though because even if they start losing some hero, uh, even if Mineski loses some heroes, I think that's like th what they have to do because they have these three cores that have to farm, right? Broodmother, Vengeful, and Medusa, they have to go farm out different lanes, which is always going to reveal the fact that Mineski split up, so TNC will go for that advantage. I think they just have to sack one of them. One of them has to realize it's like, I can't be, I can't be that farmer. I think we've, we've, we've said that a few times, from like, uh, I think at TI, some of the panel members we've been saying, like, if you're showing three of your cores in the lane, one of them is going to die. Corner lane, Mushi, he'll show, and he'll die. Yeah. Oh, Maledict, he's going to pop, surely. Let's see. Oh, ring drop, not enough. Maybe if he ate a fire snack, nah, he would have found out. He took a lot. He went for 1,400, like, 200. That was a yeah. lot of damage. Level four Maledict, yeah. lots of damage. 
Find Tim in return. These are the cause of Mineski going down time and time again. And still, as the game goes on, PL, he's yet to die. He's having a, a beautiful time. Radiance Bottom Tower has uninvited guests. So, wards coming up in TNT, they have so much vision around the map to make all these aggressive moves. Oh, no. <laughs> Bottom Tower has RNG. I tell you what, we've seen a few unfortunate Radiance people getting this A lot of the times, the environment screwing over some PLs. Tim's will. Give his buddy some words of encouragement. Don't give up. So very good at first 20 minutes yeah. of coming out from TNC. Just punishing every time we see Mineski showing in all three lanes. Mineski, Mineski are, as I said, yeah, I still think there is a good amount of faith to be held in the, the Medusa. Sure, she's behind, but it's it's definitely not irrecoverable. irrecoverable. If this keeps going on for, like, what, at least 10, 15 more minutes, this Medusa is likely to be the top in that world. But the farm that she can get, unless can if you continue to focus on catching him out. Cuckoo being eyed up. They don't have a great way to catch Cuckoo. Nah, it's all on a... Uh, well, I guess it's literally all on the Disruptor, but yep. at the same time that's hard unless you get the straight up static storm. Glimpse. Can be dodged, of course. Yeah, glimpse dodge from the double, and he's got shadow blade too, so he's looking for pickoffs. Oh, just uh, the elbow. He's gonna find it. And that was a jab. Oh, he's gonna get a tombstone. I, st I feel like we've seen tombstone hurt team that the undying on much more. Oh, he didn't get double up. Oh, he must don't have. Oh, they do have sentry. Interesting. Really? He didn't even drop it. Oh, oh. oops. Hang on. Did he... maybe he didn't realize that the Shadow Blade was there even though his mate just got jumped on with the Shadow Blade and then thought that maybe he just didn't catch the PL? I think that he uh -huh. thought that he doppelgangered. Yeah, he thought he didn't catch him, I guess. But Kuk, that time he didn't was, see him. That time was because Arcane Rune, so he had a lot of... Uh, he had the lower cooldown on that Shadow Blade, but yeah. yeah. Slight mistakes coming out from an Eski and they're getting punished. E and C. That's a bit of a whipple. What's the PL going for? Next thing <laughs> Uh, I like, yeah, I like that. With the sort of the pace he's going, Agzoli on the same dash, jump in. Just to kick things off. Well, this is number one. So, Gaze comes through as well. Just even as you try and turn this one around. Yeah, I'll look to back off. But the magic missile is in, and Cuckoo, he's overstepped the mark. That's a big kill to go to Moon. Of all people, Mushi will still fall to the magnetized damage, but gotta be careful. You do have the lead, you do have the edge, but you cannot afford to. Big kills to the Medusa. Radiance top tower needs bandages. Little over the The hurricane pike. This Medusa is scary. Raven, still very big. He's got the Shiva's guard. Chance they need to need to pull it together as a team and, and continue the momentum that we've built up from earlier without going in one by one like Pia, like Cookie tried. They've lost all their wards now. They placed all four pretty much at the same time, so all four despawning at the same time. They've lost a lot of vision in, for this time being. And Mineski's doing a pretty decent job recovering. They're still 4k behind, but they are, you know, splitting up their resources. They're pretty much making TNC pick and choose. Like, they have to kill one side of the map or the other. Out of all the cores. Are you really uh oh, yeah, Moon. Behind. He's getting sandwiched here. They put oh, a ward down. Oh, so it is. Yeah. Man is now with no power. So he's already sort of spell. He gets melted. And the last remaining of the engine is being cleaned up by TNT as well. Mushi also pulled out of the top lane. The rest of Mineski will come in. So if they can find some kills to make. Hey, they get the glimpse back onto Raven. He's pretty speedy. He's got the back of the Tims and Raven. He's going to be fine by the looks of it. The spiders trying to finish him off, but there's not enough damage for them. As it was, Raven will be fine. And now Mineski, they look to be in even greater trouble as they've lost dice, dice, dice. They're going to lose jabs on the Undying as well. Double kill for Same. As soon as they're starting to make a decent recovery. Yeah, that TNT happens. just turns up the heat. 4K gold after that sequence of events. 
TNT just not slowing down whatsoever. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Cuckoo absolutely dominating in this game as this Phantom Lancer. Eight, one, and eight. Getting pretty crazy. Manesta, they do have good high ground. But at the same time, if they dare step foot out at the base, which the Medusa needs to do, you know, she needs to find the farm. Uh, as we've seen, that's pretty much being kept in tabs on by TNC. They'll, they will hunt her down when she's by her ancients. Yeah, the fact that they've lost all the outer towers pretty much, except for that one tier two mid. Yeah. His, I mean, the Medusa's yeah. avenues of coming back is very limited. And now DD rune on Cuckoo. They are looking to fight. They don't need all their ultis. They've got Batrider Lasso already. Magnetizes up in 10. They might just make the wing to the road pit. Yep, no reason not to get the Aegis. And then even consider trying to push for the high ground. The Axe complete on Cuckoo as well. They get they, they threw out a scan and it catches Mimeski on the high ground there. Okay. So they are feel, felt a little bit. A little bit worried. They want to just take a fight. They know they're stronger. And then they're going to go into that rush. They're bleeding kills, they're losing cores. Raven is falling low. Ice Mice Nice trying to chase. He hasn't quite got the speed to keep up with the Razor. So Raven will be fine. In back the way. The NC with that bottom back from Tim is continuing to try and turn things around. Ice Nice Nice looking to get back to the base with the Soul Rip. He'll be fine. TNC Rat. He was so desperate to take the fight there. And at the end of the day, it does not go their way. The Moon gets a double kill. You know, Tim's buying back, so overall net worth, that gap's been closed, and as I said earlier, look at this Medusa, she is very close to being the most farm player in the game. She's only about 500 behind Raven's Razor, and that is going to close any minute now. She's got 3.7k gold. There's no doubt about it, this Medusa is still definitely a big issue for TNC, despite how well they're playing. Yeah. In the early, should the early game, the early laning stages. Look at this turnaround now on the net worth and XP. It is starting. They can't afford to lose another fight to Moon. Yeah, and that was pretty much just because of the location of where the fight yeah. is. They are in that small little ancient area and they get caught by a big static storm from Ninja Boogie yeah. into the Stone Gaze. A lot of team fight coming up from Mineski in those kind of close quarters. They weren't able to grab the last one on anybody. They're going to try again by looks of it. They're coming forth, they're looking for Ice Ice Ice, but he's out of there. The smoke jump reveal by TNC. They won't get a kill. They will look to rush them. They're they hovering around don't it. They don't kill it's it not, fast. They, they have got a stutter crest on 1437, but yeah, even with that, you say it's not the quickest. It's not a great place for them to fight. Same ah. kind of aspect as that high ground. It's a very Dyer's close quarters down. area where Disruptor yeah. just thrives. Disruptor and Undying around the pit is an absolute menace. And Mineski now, they're looking to turn up the heat. They air smoke themselves. They've got mech on Undying, they've got a couple of items, other items. Did Medusa spend up any of the gold jets towards what the Scar deal? Obviously, getting them out. Man, okay. Yeah. okay. Understandable with the, the uh, Spirit Silence. Yeah, and Broodmother has gone for the Radiant to build. Got a catch. That has gone down. They found Raven. It's a big, big kill indeed. Raven down. Very nice smoke coming out for them. Trying to meet with their Medusa to lead into a tower push, and they even find Raven. TNC still trying to set up here, though. They see Mushi. Tim's is on the sidelines. Oh, there we go. Still looking for the initiation. They've got the Maledict on for the Medusa. He's got this up as well. Healed up by the Star Rift. They've already lost Mushi. And with the control and the Death War, TNC, they claim to. They'll get Ninja Boogie as well as the Boulder Smash is there from Tim's to stop the TP. That is the defense that they need. Fighting like that. Catching Maneski, arguably off guard, as I don't think they would have expected TNC to be that aggressive with their carry on the sidelines, but TNC showing that they could do it with Cuckoo, the damage coming out from the death of the doing a lot in these fights with Maledict. It was the control too. Tim gets in, gets a two-man stun, they get the Maledict on the Dusa, and then the cast. The cast is pretty much bouncing between the two supports over and over again. So just too much control, now they can lead inside the door. Somebody's dead with Solar Press, with PL, with all these illusions. They start to clear it up. It'll be very hard for Vanessa to make it. Nice, nice, nice to have a poke in. Or a poke around. As it is going on, you do anything on the spider. It's not it's doing a lot to 1437 there. That's the Glimmer came from back up. You can't get into the fight. It, 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 
there's no lighters that you can get anywhere close to this. And indeed. Oh, he's thinking about going on. Oh, I got something to try. Oh, he gets the kill. He's able to get the kill, but Kuka will snatch the Aegis. There was a fair bit of time when the Aegis wouldn't have picked up, but Ice 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 is able to take the Roche kill. Mushi, though, wipes out he's Ice, in Ice, trouble. Ice Ice, and now he is going to get hunted. Oh, if only Ice 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 were able to pick up the Aegis, there was a long time, it felt, where the Aegis was not being picked up. But gets the kill at least, classic Ice Ice Ice. Not sure how much that will do the, the overall scheme of things, but it does get them that extra bit of money XP. How the hell did he get that? Did he hit it or did the I radiant? Think he, uh, did, did he, I think he needed it. Okay, he knew it. Okay. I mean, that's Maybe. still not but even he, that much damage. But it's still not that much with the resistance as was. Look, it gets in, it hovers around. I think the radiance burn got the last hit. Because I didn't you don't see think he even hit it. it. I don't think he hit no. it. it the radiance burn did it. I mean, maybe. I think he just got some RNG yeah. right there, to be completely honest. Did he not have a slot for I just hit it. I was surprised he, did he didn't not. get the Aegis. He cleared up a slot, but I, I think there was too much inside of it. I mean, there was a lot of chaos around that pit. Yeah. That's Mushi. Let's get picked off for making a save. <laughs> How does he get the... I, I mean, I'm going to watch that one again after this. It looks like the Radiance for God. I... Maybe he poked it. Maybe he poked it once and everything. The How much time do you resist this for the thing? It's lower than it used to be. I see. It's okay. I'm gonna say. But still. Get in that. Oh, shit. There is that Aegis on Cuckoo, though, though. And uh, I think he can look to try and do something big with that. I think the Roshan Magic is yeah, like 50%, corn. maybe 55. It's, it's, it's about half, I know. Okay. It's very close to 50 or 55%. I can't remember. Exactly. Raven, full BKB up now on the Razor, so he can actually get into the fights a lot easier. Very tanky on the Razor now too. Almost level 20, can choose for that 10 armor if he wants to, and then it'll be pretty hard to bring down. I was better with the sneaking around, and I want to say, I might be totally wrong here, but uh, if he can get the touch on Mushi, it stops those illusions spawning, yeah. hitting them back. Yep. Which, you know, it's a considerable bit. You don't really want a PL illusion punching at you after you've killed someone. It breaks the vengeance aura, and it also breaks the... Oh, is it not? It doesn't create an illusion of them, it creates illusions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and it breaks the incapacitating fight from the Broodmother as well. Oh, that is true. Nice, 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 he's brewed into the Malatix, nice, 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 no way he can survive from this, surely no. He's down for 75, Moon trying to head forward, but cleans out the Tombstone. TNC will back up, and nice, 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 Bartles back in. This is going to be the challenge, pushing up to high ground, Moon. Closing in on the Butterfly as well. Once he has that. Yeah, it's, it's tough, Rick, right? They're, they have yeah. the Medusa, which is really good for the high ground fence, but TNC does have that Bat Rider. So if they do see anybody, they just grab him out of the pit, and then they can try to go for the number advantage. And now, Ice 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 has no buyback on that Brood. I mean, I don't know if he necessarily needs to buy that. Unless they can find a play aggressively. Oh, oh Cuckoo! They just smoked, but Cuckoo was there, of course, in this. And now they're just going to jump in on them. Moose be getting low, but the Star Wars comes in Stone Gaze. Is it going to be enough to protect Moose? It does. They get the Stone Gaze on the BL. No, he gets past it. He goes towards Moose. But he's now going to turn back. And he knows if he can get Ice, 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 Ice. This is going to be a tie back on the spot if they can. So we there. Will heal Ice, Ice, Ice back up. The BL turns his attention towards Moon, who Hurricane Pikes himself back up to the high ground. And away from the damage of TNC. That got a little spooky there for Manesti. <laughs> as I seen a little, I swear they smoked, and then uh, as I say, they, the Silver Age PR was sort of sitting there, and they were like, "Oh, hang on, someone's among us." Yeah. And then they yeah, either way, yeah, everyone's surviving, and uh, some big saves. They're just getting ice, ice, ice out of there. That could have been incredibly painful if they just lost the brood straight off the back of that buyback. That's the first time I've seen that ever. Did you see what Talent Broodmother just picked up? The twenty spider attack damage over the attack speed the attack speed talent was just changed last patch from 60 well for initially from 70 to 60 and then okay. in 7.07 i mean that is a lot 60 to 50. why was it the people that, was it just because of the, of the fact that in the fight the spiders normally just die because for the pushing and everything else the numbers add up way better for the spiders get yeah, it out here on the side and picked off here by tim's well, they, they, they just, yeah, they usually just die. Yeah. But for pushing and I think stuff, that's, that's why he did it. Yeah, I think he's realizing they're having trouble just taking Because how much damage do they do normally? 18. That's, it's a lot of damage. Radiance top that is a lot to add bandages. up. You haven't...
Oh, yeah, I guess. If you have an army build up, indeed, no disruptor. The people are getting picked up by the fighters. Oh, they just killed him. Oh my goodness, the fighters are freaking spooky. <laughs> they don't kill core here. They can kill support. And uh, now the spider's dead for 100 seconds. Ice, ice, ice. It's not got buyback. That is that's the real spooky thing from an S -key. Can they hold? They've got the Medusa. They do have the rest. They should have the rest of the team up in time. 25 seconds and disrupts is back in. And they Radiant have got Butterfly complete on, uh, on Moon. A good amount of damage. Stay down. They hit the loose for Tier 3 Tower. They've got to get back here soon. Tier 3's gone. Moon will be back up in a second. Looks like they may have to just accept the loss of his mid rag. Uh, they're turning their attention towards the Medusa. That evasion there. So not quite as much. Now, if you swap back, but Moose will lift his head up onto Cuckoo. Cuckoo's will be a double gang, and he will be fine. They can't quite get the catch on him. Now turning towards the Witch Doctor, Maledict down onto Moon. Flame Break actually knocking Moon close to 1437, but he's got the Glimmer Cape, he's got the TP, and the Nespy, they do not have the Detect. They lost the melee racks. Slowly but surely, TNC edging themselves closer and closer to victory this game. Yeah. 13k gold lead, 20k experience lead. They've been doing an incredibly good job of not allowing Mineski to slow the pace down. At yep. all times, they've just been pretty much running at them. Even though Moon is farmed, Mushi is incredibly shut down. 10,700 10, net worth on that bench, and you look at the support from TNC, they're right behind him. Mushi, 3 and 10, really just getting punished heavily by TNC. Yeah, there's not a lot this bench can do at this stage other than be a, a, a sort of semi-reliable stun at this later portion of the game and yeah. uh, and the aura very hard for Mushi to really sit there and get stuck in in the fights rather far behind and Agonims for Raven nearly complete so the push is even more scary Mushi again oh he's grabbing that Dragon with the last go, bringing the bench back, and that is 70 seconds. No, Mushi does not have buyback. And TNC, they take him more. Look at this speed of Kuku as closes in onto Moon. The prey just hates Rune PL. Forcing Maneski back, jumps up to the high ground. He's managed to find his group to there as well. That's two heroes down, but nearly a minute on Maneski. Sam H is just finding the grabs all over the place. With this movement speed talent, with Shadow Blade, can easily close that gap. And now, Kuku, full butterfly finished up. Again, though, instantly, they have no hesitation. As soon as they have lasso, they go for those kills. They do not, they do not slow down. Yeah, Sam's been playing very well. Yeah, yeah, Sam is. Big grabs and after having a bit of a struggling time up top of when he turned up against the group. Yes. Just pulled it together. He jumped on Cuckoo, trying to start the fight straight away. Trying to sort of poke the the stone gaze out of him. The ult coming out from Raven with the Agnim steps up, punching into the racks. Cam and SBA can hold this, but still 10 seconds before they get the heroes back. They've got it onto the Medusa. Do they have the damage over the evasion? He's still alive for now, Moon. But does he get the aura? No, he's out of mana. He can't get the stone gaze out. He's down. 85 seconds, no Medusa. He and speed. I think they may just have done it. They find nice, nice, nice as well. They kept the pressure up. There was not the time for this Medusa to become the big scary snake lady that she'd hoped to be. And GG is called PNC take game one against Maneski. That was very well played. The, uh, from start to finish, the, uh, the phantom lancer for me, Kuku, absolutely spectacular performance from him. Just coming out ahead in the lane phase in, that mid, in, the, in the start, and then also punishing. He killed the Medusa. I think once or twice and just making all the right motations that was really well done by tnc i think like overall they really dictated the pace of the game they had a good flow coming out and they never really let the net 